Well, good, everybody. Welcome, and thank you for doing this with me. It's uh, going to Cheers. be something of a ride. Cheers. I want to warn you that playtesting is not guaranteed to be fun. And we may hit limits of what I've been able to do. You know, we may we may say, uh, okay, well, the we, we rolled off of how far I've gone in some system subroutine. So I'll give you a okay. result that might be in the roll results later. You know, I just, mm -hmm. have, to, I just have to say it uh, because I have some ideas for a list, but I'm not going to be able to, um, you know, I don't really have a list yet. So that can happen. Three okay. non-cleric lawful characters. Interesting. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, I, I think, think uh, the, the, we want to be we want to get fucked over by the universe. I think that's what yes, it is. That, yeah, everybody said. Oh, that, good. That's the thing. I get to because you spend your entire you spend your entire life avoiding railroading, and then you see a system where it's baked into the mechanics. You're like, ooh, <laughs> me first. So, that, that's the interesting part. Yes, <laughs> yes. Let's take a look at the Baghdad handout, and okay. you will see. First of all, I think everybody here knows where Baghdad is. And you will see yep. that it is, uh, you know, in the bends, folded into the meandering course uh, of the Tigris. And um, unless I have the rivers mixed up, but I'm pretty sure I don't. And the um, interesting thing for us, of course, is that it is under Persian occupation. That occupation has not been uh, in place for very long. And in fact, the city in the last decade has been subjected to multiple battles and sieges. And regardless of who administers the city right now, everything's disrupted. There is not, you know, regular organized trade or economy. There's not uh, civic services of any kind um the you know neighborhoods have been overrun or occupied whole districts have been simply become places for soldiers to you know pack up and stay there um or and once they leave a year later then the place is ruined um so there are whole areas of i mean baghdad's really big and there's lots and lots of different districts and outlying areas and greater Baghdad is kind of enormous. So that means that there are whole areas that are just subjects to nobody where people are living, but they have to, you know, give goods or food or their kids or something to some thug who's running the place. And that thug might be some Persian captain or sergeant who just decided to break off and you know enjoy himself or it might be some ottoman sergeant or captain who still retains control over that area and no one cares so you have these kind of semi little warlord neighborhoods um and you have uh desperate attempts at whoever has been set up by the persians to govern the place uh, to just maintain the flow of goods into and out of the place. They just want to keep mm -hmm. everybody from starving to death, and they want some kind of civic activity and commerce to get going again. Of course, to do any of those things, they have to have police forces, and I use that term specifically, who are basically armed people who have license to do whatever they want, as long as they maintain that particular set of order or that particular set of commerce in place. So the idea of patrolling looking for crime is absolutely not what we are talking about. Yeah. So um, all of those are, are in force. It's a wretched place, disease and rats and feral animals um, and... Uh, for all you know, in some area, in the more settled areas, places that weren't disrupted as much, that's where they have area, you know, concerned citizens who do patrol the place and practice summary justice on anyone that they don't know. So 
you guys can see, you know, the place is a mess. Anybody can go there and get along somewhere because there really isn't any kind of organized judiciary or anything like that. Oh, and a bunch of Shia clerics have shown up, small C clerics, uh, and they all have license from authorities um, back in, you know, homes or anywhere, really, um, any of the cities, and they uh, don't all agree with each other. So each of them has a small armed force, and they've fought several pitch battles over specific mosques or specific holy places in Baghdad. So as you can see, that's a lot of fun too. Um, unlike the Ottomans, the Safavid Persians uh, do not particularly care for other forms of Islam. And yeah. there has already been a wholesale butchering of uh, non-Muslims um, in, the, in the region. So that's already occurred. Um, and so by the Safavids by the Safavids. Yes. Yep. So, um, the, that's basically, you know, no one wants to go to Baghdad. Which but makes it a great place to, uh, us. all of you are there and yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, and, and, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the English children's classic, the wind in the willows. Yeah. <laughs> it begins was... with a famous line. The mole had been working hard all morning, you know, because the characters are animals and he's cleaning his house. Yeah. And it goes into a very long, elaborate, careful introduction of how the mole gets into an adventure. Right. We're not doing that. <laughs> there is no, the mole was working hard all morning in this game. Okay. We have playtesting to do. So, um, the, the thing I want to point out to you is what I have in those maps you will notice that all the way back at the founding of Baghdad and the earliest of Islam, there was a beautiful, fantastic structure near the center of modern Baghdad. Well, it has several centers. It goes along a river. But anyway, it's, it's in a, a distinctive location that was a round municipal area, a walled area fortified area that was perfectly round and the first caliph who ruled or sat we should say who sat in Baghdad in that caliphate um, had their palace and their mosque right there in the middle of that city um, for many centuries six or seven centuries um, it's house of wisdom it's library and academies flourished and it was considered by the 12th or 13th century um common era that but to be the largest library in the world so if you want to think about the library of alexandra the font of human wisdom no this this makes that look like nothing this was an amazing uh educational institution so and if i recall correctly in the 13th century before it was uh, raised, Baghdad was considered one of the possibly the most uh, central place in the known world for at least Eurasia, right? Mm -hmm. Something like correct. that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so um, this was a big deal when the Mongol invasion absolutely raised Baghdad and destroyed the House of Wisdom. And it's considered one of the great intellectual losses of, of history. Um, yeah. And so you will be interested to know that the in today's Baghdad, the round city is effectively urbanized over. Mm. But of course, we have lots of maps. If you look at the maps I provided, you can see where it was. And to your characters, where its ruins are because I'm saying that in this particular time, the ruins are there. Possibly repurposed for certain things. It, it overlooks the river in a strategic place, so I'm going to say that it may have been repurposed as a fortress, but that this particular, uh, at this particular time, that too 
has fallen into disuse and at the moment is really the area isn't really used for much so can everybody see what it used to look like um, I think that its remnants are still there in a later map. I've dated the maps there, I think. Um, yeah, I, I can see the, the pictures. Of yeah. So everyone getting an idea of, of this. Now, the interesting thing from your character's perspective is that the Safavids have not occupied none of the, in, none of the invading Shia you know, clerics or you know, groups has actually taken hold of those ruins. And at the moment, they seem to be avoided by the Safavid authorities and troops. Like so they're still, officially, they're still officially under Ottoman rule? No, not at all. No, they're, no. It's in for Persian. What you're saying is that, that the area oh. appears to be disused. Yeah. yeah. Now, your characters are in this place. Who knows who already knew one another? And who knows who has allied with one another through a series of no doubt fascinating coincidences up until this point? We don't care about that. Right. At the moment, you are all looking at the possibility of who knows what awesomeness may be in the old ruins of the House of Wisdom. And the fact that it seems to be avoided makes it even better. Anybody who wants to know uh, a little bit more, I don't. Uh, we have a couple of kind of scholars in the group. Uh, for example, the clerical character, our cleric, would know um, quite a bit, I think. Um, okay. Uh, 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 an educated woman. Um, yeah. And, uh, so, anyone else have some sort of what's what's our magic users? Uh, you know background in this regard he is um a bit of a uh this is a bit of a nerdy well uh he's uh already um squandered his wife's fortune he squandered his sister's fortune he had to leave the crimea uh uh quickly might be a, a, a way to put it um he keeps a book i don't uh, i don't want to butcher the name but uh it's a book of it's the simi's persian dewan i think is probably the, how i would say it um and that's where he keeps his his secrets um he would be particularly interested in uh the house of wisdom so that's that's definitely why well, he's you here. all are just by definition you're in this event yeah. so you're interested yeah. in the house of wisdom the another thing i want to tell you about um is that yes there are many many rumors of you know wonderful books and historical items and things like that um and you do know however that at least during these troubled times um that after what appeared to be at least one attempt nobody has gone back to investigate or to uh, try to take control of the area. And so, uh, how am I going to put it? it? It looks as though some, it looks as though it is mysteriously avoided, or at least nobody is currently putting a lot of effort into that right now. Wealth is the big issue here. Um, perhaps yep. one of the things that you guys have found out is that the uh, is that there are suspiciously specific rumors of wealth that you've managed to uncover, uh, perhaps some old records that you say, and, and this was never found, right? Something like yep. that. 